Hi guys! It's been a while. We're back! <laughs> and we are going through all the things that we love and hate that's vegan on this episode of Booze Cruise. Hi, I'm Jarrell. And I'm David. I'm 34 years old. We've been home. Oh my gosh. We've been home. Guys. Um, eating. <laughs> yes, well, we know that it's been a while. Guys, give yeah, us grace. The entire country is on fire. Everything has been crazy. This election, I can't even get into it. Um, but we have literally been watching news for the yeah, last like, CNN two weeks. has been like, on just loop. on. And all day. All night. <laughs> right. And like with COVID and uh, like everything, we just needed some time to process. And um, we've been, uh, but we're still vegan. Uh, still that's vegan. All. And we've been eating. Yes. We've been eating. And we have a lot to um, <sighs> tell you yes. about our eating. All of our favorites and all of our things. So we're doing this thing that we've seen people do. Um, it's called like an empties video. Um, a lot of you have asked, like so many of you have asked, um, what we've liked, what we haven't liked to, to kind of do reviews on things. Right. And so, and we, instead of like trying to like make a review on every, like every time we ate something, right, which, which was a been, lot, like, a lot. Cause we everything like, is new. Right. So we were like, let's just eat over the, like, I think it's been about three or four weeks or maybe mm -hmm. a month. And we're like, let's just eat everything and just keep the packages. So we, right. keep, we kept the packages. We kept the empties. And um, and all of our memories are intact, so we know what everything tasted like. Oh, we do. Um, So we're going to go through that right now. Yes. Um, okay, do we want to go with empties or do you want to go with what? Well, I brought some things that aren't empty. We're still eating. Right. Them, but, but things that were like honorable, like things that we love that are honorable that mentions. Things that we really good. what we like. Well, well, one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, these. my favorite too. These are the chicken nuggets. These are from um, Costco, right? Yeah, these are from Costco. They have yes. them at regular Costco now. They used to only have them at Costco Business. Yes, but raised and rooted is the, is the bread, and they're plant-based nuggets, you guys. They legit taste like McNuggets. Taste like McNuggets, like from McDonald's. Like, um, they're great, and we cook them in the air fryer. I guess you can bake them too, mm -hmm. um, but we put them in the air fryer, and they're they legitimately awesome. incredible. They're the best. I think this is the best chicken nugget that I've tasted. We got a couple of different down. brands, but these are the, the best. Like the breading tastes wow. just like a it, nugget. It's bread. legit. Like if you gave this to your kid, there's no way he wouldn't know that they, he or she, or they, they them, uh, wouldn't know that this is a chicken. Like uh, this is legit McDonald's. Chicken. Like right. I'm like a fat kid. This is a McDonald's. This is a McDonald's. Costco, you guys. Get I don't know where else they're sold, but we got it at Costco. Another thing that we like oh, yeah. are these Daya or Daya, Daya. Daya. Mm -hmm. pizzas, and they make different um, flavors. They have um, cheese, vegan yeah. cheese. Um, they have sausage. They have meat lovers. Meat lovers, which is like, like our thing. We got these, guys, you can get these at Whole Foods. They were yeah. having a sale where all of their pizzas, every frozen pizza was 50% off. And these are like eight bucks normally, like eight, eight and some change, which is pricey, but it's also, this is fully vegan. So it is dairy free as well as meat free. And we got them for like four bucks and we got like 10 of them. We got like, a, we got a lot. We got a lot. We got, well, we got, it was all brands. It was Daya, it was Amy's. Mm -hmm. Um, It was a couple, but all their pizzas were on sale. But right. we got a lot of Daya's. I love. They're really love. good. They're, they're really so good. easy. They're so easy to just I was throw away. I'm like, I was fooled once. They taste like if you ever went to the skating rink when you were younger and you got pizza, like it is not gourmet. If you think that you're going to eat this pizza and you are like, oh my gosh, I am at California Pizza Kitchen or in like the heart of Italy. No, bro. You are at the skating rink. You are 10 years old and you are cheating on your diet and that's right. But you're not. Or a micro. It just tastes like a micro. It's good. Pizza. It's good. It's convenient. You know, it's it's really processed. Good. It's not we're not all eating processed. Journals, oh, that's another thing. Good. These these are a lot of like the store bought processed foods, but we've been eating a ton of like whole grains, like brown rice, um, whole grain pasta. I've gotten this one to eat lentils and chickpeas yeah, and all uh, kind of we've beans. Got lentils a lot today. I mean uh, this week. Yes, like three times this week. We Which for lentils. him is like a big deal I'm because not he's big, not man. a bean or a lentil person. But I made it in a curry. I know I will bring some cooking videos. I promise. I've been cooking, but I don't want to like I. 
nothing I've made is everything I've made has actually been amazing but I also want to try things out before I bring them to you because what if they taste whack like I'm not gonna have you guys making some nasty food oh I almost said a cuss word but things are I mean are also like it's, it's up to your own taste too mm -hmm. we hear, like a lot of things we watch people are like these are so good oh my god it's amazing and we tried it and we're like oh mm -mm. Mm -mm. we'll show you they one lied. thing that was like a shock. <laughs> they lied but um, lied in our face Okay. Another thing, another snack that we like to snap on. Um, and you guys may see them in your store all the time, but they're called chip peas. Hip peas. Hip peas? I always say chip peas because no. they look like a chicken to me, so I want to say chip, <laughs> like chip, chip, chip. They're but hip peas. peas, and they're all made from what? Beans? They're made from chickpeas. Chickpeas, exactly. They literally they taste. Oh my gosh, here, so you guys can they see. They taste like puffed. They look like Cheetos. Yeah, they're Cheetos. Cheeto puffs. They yeah, are they're so good. It's the first ingredient is chickpea flour. And these are gluten-free, kosher, vegan, non-GMO, no nuts, no soy. They have vegan white cheddar, bohemian barbecue, sriracha, sunshine, and Himalayan happiness, which is just salt. Love these. We get these from Costco. They can be pricey, but at Costco, they're like a great price. Two for like the price of one that you would pay oh for. Oh my right God. For sure. Store. Those are good. Mm -hmm. And so another thing that I've been eating a lot of since you know, I'm not keto anymore, is bagels. And what goes yes, on God. bagels are cream cheese. Yes. And these are the best cream cheeses that we've had so far. So far. We have the another one that we called tried to. called Miyoko's. I want to say, I think I need a vacation. From I Greek. Go to oh, <laughs> but Miyoko's, and they have, um, right here we have regular flavor cream cheese, mm -hmm. and then we have um, lox flavor. Now, this is for me, like David doesn't do the lox flavor, mm -hmm. but this is so good. It tastes just like you put lox on your bagel. Fishy. It's so good. Mm -hmm. and, and this is good too, just as good. It's very rich, very creamy. That is fit. That smells like cheerleader spanks to me. It smells like lox. Mm -hmm. But um, they, but this is also so the thing that's different about them is that they are the only company that I know of that actually um, cultures their it's cultured vegan cream cheese. So there's that tang that you get from cream cheese. It does not taste like cream cheese. Uh, it I'm just tastes like that. cheese, like spreadable cheese. Right. To me. It tastes almost like a goat cheese to me. This is how this one looks on the inside. That's just like all the goodness in there. He was he was he was <laughs> lots, skeptical at first. Fake lots. And, and then this lots. is the regular one. Um, we have another cream cheese that we tried too, which I actually really like too. This has more flavor. It's tangy. Yeah, it tastes are, like goat cheese. My favorite though. Um, so I got far. a whole grain um pumpkin uh bagel, and this on that like the cinnamon pumpkin spice with this kind of goat cheesy thing just works. Like you know, like goat cheese and um. And sometimes people put jam or things with it. This just works. It's really, really good. You can find this. You can find these actually at um, Trader Joe's, which is nice. But you can also find them at Whole Foods as well. And another dippable oh gosh, thing dip. we like is French onion dip. This is the brand from Kite Hill. It's almond based. It's almond based. It's a French onion dip that you, uh, you couldn't tell the difference. If it, it, you know, tastes like, like it tastes like... So good. Do you remember when you were little and then you would have people over so for, for well, right, maybe you guys were football games for me for the Tony Awards um, and you would get uh, sour cream and then you put in that Limpton's onion soup. That's what that tastes like. Yeah. It, I can't believe it. There's no dairy in it. It's and delicious. And this is made with almond milk yogurt. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so rich and creamy. They're yogurts, but not so my good. favorite. Like they, their yogurt. This brand of yogurt. Kite Hill. Kite Hill yogurt is. Kite Hill's meh. brand of yogurt isn't that great, but there's other great yogurts. Mm -hmm. um, it's not bad. It just has. Silk yeah. had a good one. And so delicious. And so delicious. Also has a good one. Okay, so this is our. Let's show them our our bag of empties, guys. Yeah. This is what we've been doing for the last. Like this looks like a bag of trash. Forgive us, but for the, we're doing this for you. For the last uh, month, we have been saving certain things after we use them just to show you guys the empties and see if we like or hate it. So okay. do you wanna? So the first thing that we have here are these, oh, oh sweet and sour so porkless bites. Those were real good. These are by the brand Gardein and we actually love this brand. We got My favorite so brand. many things um, from Gardein. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is um sweet and sour porkless bites. We put these in you made a yeah i made brown and sour yeah i, I made these and then i put it over um some brown rice with edamame yeah. and some other like and some vegetables some spinach in it uh and it was a like basically like chinese takeout with this over it with some uh vegetable dumplings this is legit in the air fryer it tastes really really good um Gardein products i can't say enough i, I haven't tried one bad thing from them let me i guess i'll pull out yet. next <gasps> okay speaking of guys these are from Trader Joe's. These are the Thai, let me show you, the Thai vegetable gyoza. Legit, like these are, if you go to Trader Joe's, if there is like 
one or two things that you pick up make sure that you pick these up they're like pot stickers yeah i recommend oh, to um gosh. to steam them or boil mm -hmm. them or whatever we put them in the air fryer and they tasted like it tasted okay but they're a little bit too crispy and they want that pot sticker taste right but if you want a them. fried wonton taste then yeah. put it in the air fryer they're so good yeah this all you have to do put a tiny bit of oil in the bottom of a pan put them all in and then add water and then let them steam until all the water cooks out and then it'll get crispy on the bottom and then the, that is the the crunchy part and the rest are steamed get them trader joe's we just went and got like three more bags of this that's that's why well i didn't know that he must have went and snuck and got three bags no i went to trader joe's the other <laughs> I'm day. Glad, i know i'm saying <laughs> oh this is um the cream cheese the other cream cheese from, from trader, joe's. trader joe's this is okay it's not as good as the Miyoko's. Yeah. I liked it. This just doesn't have as much um, flavor, yeah. but it's a good base. It's like, a good base. I liked it, um, and I sprinkled everything with the bagel seasoning over it, and mm -hmm. I thought it was actually pretty good. I would say, like, if you were just trying, if you're, like, newly vegan and this was the first brand you tried, um, you may be disappointed, which mm -hmm. there's so many more. So right. just try other ones. But also, I have to stress, this is cheaper it's, than it's other. Way cheaper. Like, that Miyoko's way is, cheaper. like, five, over $5. Like, five fifty, six bucks. This was, like, $2. This was, like, $2. So. And this does the trick if you if you and if you have a Trader Joe's and you're just yeah. trying to look for something affordable and you it does I think, the job. I think this would be better on flavored bagels. Also, we were yeah. we just been eating whole wheat bagels. So if you had a flavored bagel, this would probably or be everything but the bagel seasoning. Seasoning. On top That's of what we that did. Works yeah. too. That was good. Um, let me see here. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, that was good. This was good. Okay. So these are the Trader Joe's black bean and corn enchiladas. They come in a tray. They're in the frozen food but section. Two enchiladas in a tray. In a tray. And it's um so good. So good. So good. <laughs> Usually you have to add stuff and I was like, oh Lord, let me add a bunch of stuff. It's like the sauce is amazing. The enchiladas, enchiladas are so amazing. Good. And they're really good. super cheap. We wouldn't got more. Yeah, we wouldn't got more. Yeah. I got more of these and I got, um. they have a vegan burrito because these are enchiladas but they actually have frozen burritos too. Um, yeah, highly recommend these. Super easy to just microwave and be and just, you know. Alright, Nick. Another item from our brand Gardein, which oh, yeah. is oh the um chicken scallopini. They're lightly seasoned. Yeah, that was good. I made a uh, a chicken yeah, piccata with these. Yeah, he made a chicken. It was really good. It was and really like, good. I mean, the taste of these tastes just like chicken. Like yeah, you'll be surprised at how much these items taste like meat. It's crazy for texture sure. wise and everything. And it was just perfect for the for the for the um. What do you make? You make chicken piccata. Chicken piccata. <laughs> I honestly think if when it, like I, I have not gone wrong with Gardein anything. No. Our um make good stuff. for Thanksgiving and, and Christmas we bought um these turkeyless stuffed turkey roasts that's stuffed with like wild rice and cranberries and whatever and it's Gardein and I literally am not even worried about it because everything Gardein has been delicious. I feel like I'm slumping, but I, I when you're tall like guys I'm like. Six, almost well, six three and some change, maybe. but no, just in general, I slumped because I like I'm you know over six three and I, there's just a lot of shoulders to keep up. Um, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, this was good. I remember this. Um, we, uh, this comes with four in a pack, by the way. Oh yeah, four um tenders in a pack. So oh no, so this is this is made by Morningstar Farms. We ripped the top off, but these were the buffalo wings. These were really really good. good. Oh my gosh, they were good too. These are really, really good, but you know what was even better? I don't know if we kept it, but the, um, their cauliflower. Oh, yeah, I don't oh think we kept the bag. It was too messy. Bird's but eye, bird's eye cauliflower, cauliflower wings. Buffalo, buffalo cauliflower wings. wings. And they also come in barbecue, oh but gosh. the buffalo ones are so good. You just put them so in the air fryer. Good. They, get, they come with the sauce, so you can make your own buffalo sauce. And you just put it over it. So good. But if you're familiar with the, um, Cheesecake Factory, um, fried cauliflower then it's so good that's what it tastes like it's just like that. my two favorite brands so far for um for vegan products has been Gardein and Morningstar Farm. I love Morningstar Farm burgers. I love Morningstar Farm's uh, breakfast sausages. Their maple breakfast sausages and their bacon is everything. These are really good. We also got some anti-tizers. We haven't tried them yet, but they have, um, I think we got the popcorn chicken bites, but we also have the ones that are pizza inside. You know, they're like little poppers. Yeah, the pizza pepperoni. Pepper we haven't had them yet. They're so in the freezer. In there that we have not tried yet. So. Yeah, we're still working on it. Again, those are kind of sometimes foods. We've been eating a lot of whole foods, not processed stuff. So here we have I got four more of those too. Mandarin orange morsels. And this is what this is what you make the sweet and sour. Trader Joe's. You make the sweet and sour um 
chicken out of basically we put it over rice mm -hmm. it, was, it was like a, it was like a chinese meal but these were really good it tastes just yes. like sweet and sour chicken sweet and sour chicken so yeah, good it's Trader Joe's. and yeah. so easy and so cheap i also got four of those like just because it's good. easy to kind of put them together and just have like a, anytime you're getting that like panda express craving this gets us right together and it's so much healthier Did you make this in the stove top or i made that in the air fryer we've been like making everything everything literally everything in the it's air fryer like it becomes your best friend yeah oh these are trader joe's chickenless crispy tenders they were okay man i don't remember remember these. these they were they were kind remember. of dry <laughs> they weren't that great i remember, I remember that. that's why I don't honestly remember. they're like they're okay especially if you're already going to trader joe's pick some up i mean ketchup and barbecue sauce but i recommend the other I, I chicken tenders there's so many other options out there yeah. and that are better tasting i would I would say skip it. But if you're already there. But if you're already there, but yeah. so many other options. I wouldn't go to another store if I wasn't going to another store. Honestly, like, if you have kids and stuff, like, this is not bad. And it's cheap. These are cheaper than the, um, the ones that right. taste better. But I... If I'm gonna have a chicken nugget, I want a good one. A good one. And this is okay. This is okay. It's not gonna give you the feel. We wouldn't, like, I, like I wouldn't buy this again only because we do go to multiple stores a month and we were just gonna get the Costco one. But you might yeah. not have a Costco. A lot of people don't have Costco. You might not have a Costco, but you should have, like... Or they might not carry it. Gardein's is sold everywhere for the most part. True, true, true. What is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, you know, guys. Uh, pistachios. Obsessed. So, um... It's, it's not it's vegan i guess but like it's garlic pistachios from trader joe's they're amazing i love pistachios this just adds a different kick so yeah pistachios love so this is the wrapper that came around the chow it's chow is the brand it's cheese slices you guys yeah. saw it if you if you saw our haul you saw us get these or maybe you didn't see us get these maybe i bought this outside anyway chow cheese this is i think this brand is one of the best brands outside yeah. of biolife chow it, it it melts like um a regular cheese right. it's creamy it's really good um we haven't tried their other they make this they make a right. pepper jack they make a tomato cayenne this is the original this is our saving grace because before this we'll get to that we got oh to be, we ate another cheese that turned us off we we're like oh no horrible. and then we had that we we're like oh so horrible we'll show you the brand it was up. horrible actually cheese it's in the video it's in the video we bought like four of them and they're going in the garbage because they're that bad and you can't get food away during these corona, corona times, so. Uh, oh. <laughs> these oh. were burritos. Now, um, this is from Whole Foods. They're called Alpha, um, the Alpha Burrito, but they're all plant-based. They come in different flavors. This one here is Philly, but they also have like pepperoni. They have pizza. They chicken have fajita. Chicken fajita. They're, they're really good. They're, you know, they taste like your average microwavable burrito, but they're vegan. Yeah. And they're everything. And we bought more. I yeah, think. we did. No, they're we really did. Good. This on the go when you're ready. Super to easy to run outside. Food. Easy. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. This was the Italian sausage, a uh, sausageless sausage. Eh. It was We've okay. Had better. We've had better. The texture was a little um, gummy. It was okay. Honestly, get Beyond. Beyond, beyond. makes uh, the first time sausages. we had it, we were like, "Oh, this is what they're supposed to oh, taste like." We're like, it tastes so good. I was like, "Girl, um, <laughs> it was really good." These are okay. If you have Beyond, get the Beyond. Beyond is in the meat section, right next to the other meats. Um, I would say skip this. Go Beyond. Um, go beyond. Trader Joe's is good for certain things. Um, and meh, but I say stock up on the things that right. like, maybe we'll do a video of like every, our must haves at Trader Joe's. Cause I literally just went and picked up only the things that we like really wanted, like the jasmine brown rice or that, um, Thai green curry simmer sauce and stuff that only Trader Joe's has that we love. This, I didn't buy more of. I skipped. I actually went to another store and got beyond. So that'll tell you. Oh, this is it? Oh. oh. Um, well, mm -hmm. this, this was more for me because for I him. love crab cakes and we got this. Trader Joe vegan jackfruit cake and wasn't feeling it. It was not good. It wasn't, didn't taste like <laughs> crab cake, didn't feel like crab cake. It had no taste at all. Oh um, my God. Because I took a bite. Yeah. Because I like crab, it's weird. I'm not a seafood yeah. person, but I don't mind crab cakes it because doesn't. it's, but this was mushy. It, it doesn't give you any type of like resemblance of a crab cake. It doesn't even, like, I thought it would be flavored with some type of crab. It was flavored, flavoring. all right. But Craft it wasn't good. We, and the next day, we got um, crab cakes from the Gardein, the Gardein brand. The Gardein brand. Those were good. And they, they were good. They were yeah. better than this. This um, is don't go. I'm, but some people love it. it but it was not for us. It, it, was, was, it wasn't for us. So, no, we won't be getting this again. No. 
I think that's well, we, but, I mean, we've eaten more, but we've eaten we more. Just didn't pack it. But this is like 20 away, minutes of, but... of, of things that we've eaten. So that's a taste of like what's happening. We'll give you some cooking videos. Um, we have to. We haven't mentioned the impossible meat, like the impossible meat, like oh, the burger yeah, meat. Oh, so good. The impossible. Uh, I wish we would have brought it, but it, it's just like it looks like it comes in like a package, oh, like ground beef. The Beyond Burgers from Costco. Oh, those are, we, didn't, we didn't bring any burgers. We will next time. We will. We and will. the chicken patties. Oh my gosh, the chicken patties. Those are good too. Oh, <laughs> oh there's only all, so much those we can are do. All still in our fridge. Yes, they're in the freezer. But, but impossible meat is another great thing. Mm. Chicken patties. Oh. So good. Those chicken oh. patties. Those we'll are we'll make more videos, but this is just what we had on site. That right. We kept. Which is a lot. I mean, Which there's a lot, lot. There's a lot in there. We'll, um, do, we'll do more videos more soon. Right. Sorry. We just have been like whatever. Also, the numbers are skyrocketing here. We can't even go anywhere. Like it's you know things are closing down again. So there, it's there's only so much you guys want to see of us eating in our house and also like throughout this whole election we have just been shuffling around in pajamas like uh, and and still today so and working of course but um we love you stay safe comment down below tell us what you've been up to tell yes, us how like you are doing subscribe. yes like and subscribe. tell us how you are doing we yes. miss you tell us like what you've been up to tell us one good thing that's happened to you love each other see us over at booze cruise booze we try to keep up there sorry i know you guys are like we haven't made a video and i said we could but we actually oh we were also away for a week because we were uh, puppy sitting puppy sitting so we're right in here week. um so yes anyway don't forget to comment subscribe follow us at booze cruise that's at b-o-o-s-c-r-u-i z because you are worth it e and we will see you really soon bye, bye guys thank you Hold the presses. <laughs> As we were cleaning up our trash, basically, we stumbled upon more trash. We this. had to come back. <laughs> this is the cheese that we first tried. Right. This is the Simple Truth brand of the cheddar. And we tried this. Guys. We tried it several times. <laughs> it tastes like cuss words and divorce and betrayal. It is, it's so bad that we have another bag that, like this, and we have, we got the, yeah. we tried the slices, we're, we threw it away. Like, it was yeah. so bad we couldn't even, no, we tried it melted, it, it, it turned into jelly. To no, that. No, gel. Yeah, it did, I'm just saying, but you know the taste of aspirin? Of aspirin? It tastes just like aspirin. It tastes like, like if you were to, cr it tastes like you just put a BC powder, or you crushed tongue. up, and you put it on, and, 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 and it, it stays there for, it doesn't go under. It does not go away. <laughs> Y'all. And this was the first one. We were like, oh my God, maybe vegan cheese isn't it. This is from, um, and this is Ralph's, Ralph's brand. Ralph's brand, but it's Ralph's here Fruit in LA. Less, yeah. Um, but it's Simple, it's simple Truth. truth. The brand. Honey, the they Simple Truth. There's a lot of other things that we do like, actually, but this cheese is... The Simple Truth is that this is disgusting. Try again, honey. <laughs> Dust it off and try again. This was not and good. said it was very good. That's why we like... Ooh. They're liars. Videos, but liars and frauds. I think food is all like subjective. subjective? There's nothing subjective right. about this aspirin. Honey, if you have a headache, eat <clears> this <throat> cheese. It was nasty. Even tacos couldn't cover it. I can't. But other cheese made up for it. There's yes. so many more that taste way better. But okay. we won't be getting this again. Now we're really leaving. Now we have to go. But you have to come. We could not <laughs> say. We couldn't, we we couldn't, couldn't save you from this. Without like letting you know the simple truth about this. Ooh, the simple truth is that so. this is trash. <laughs> we but love yeah. you. Bye, you guys.